push that rock here with Simpson Matt talking about guessing games. Those are so much fun. I remember being tortured as a parent playing these endless boring guessing games with my kids. Damn those kids. Why do I have so many? Well, we're gonna play one anyway. So here's the guessing game. Which could be the derivative of which? Okay, we got a curve A, and then we got a curve B, and the guessing game is which could be the derivative of which? Well, maybe A is the original function, and B is its derivative. Maybe that's the case. Let's look at A and think about its slope. What do we think about the slope of A? It looks like it's negatively sloped. If I draw some tangent lines, that's a negative tangent, negatively sloped tangent, negatively sloped tangent. It looks like it gets kind of flat here, but then it's still negatively sloped, negatively sloped, negatively sloped, negatively sloped. So A is the slopes, slopes of A are negative, except at one place where they maybe were zero. Okay, um, but wait, the values of B, values of B, the values of B, are they negative? No, the values of B are positive. Are positive. So, A is not the original with B as its derivative. Okay, so that was a bad guess. Okay, well, the thing about guessing games is you can guess again. So, maybe B is the original. And A is a derivative. So if B is original, we got to think about the slopes of B. Slopes of B. What about the slopes of B? Well, they look like they're positive at first. There comes a place where they're equal to zero. And then they're negative, 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 negative. Okay, and getting steeper. I mean, it looks like they're getting steeper. So the slopes of B are positive. Uh, turn to zero, flatten out, zero, they flatten, the slope flattens at some value, call it that one, let's call that value, let's call it m for in the middle of the x-axis there, uh, turn to zero at x equals m, and then slopes of b are negative, are negative thereafter, neg thereafter, that's the word neg, sorry, for negative slopes, thereafter. Okay, now let's think about the values of A. The values of A, are they positive at first? Oh, well, look, values of A, of A, are positive. How about that? Okay, they're positive at first. Okay, that's great. So far, so good. Do they turn to zero? Does the value of A turn to zero? Yeah, it does. Look right there, it is. Turns into zero at x equals m. What are the values after that? Well, the values of a after that are in negative land. We're down here in negative land. Oh, are negative thereafter. Okay, so when the slopes of b are net positive, the values of a, the values of a are positive. When the slope of b turns, flattens out and turns zero, a has a zero value. And when the slopes of b are negative, um, then the values of A are negative. So, guess what? A could be, we need more information of course, but it looks to me like A could be the derivative of B. Maybe. Now you might start examining, does it, you know, what's happening here is zero. Notice the values of, of B are getting, closing in on zero, but the slope is getting steeper and steeper. See, we were at zero here. If, as we go to zero from the right, the slopes are getting steep. Oh, and the values of Y are getting big. Well, that makes sense you know so analysis like that and you can win this little guessing game and put your kids to bed and then go do something exciting math made simple it's some math